Hey there, it's Roku family. It is Michael Yerby here at MichaelYerby.com reporting the latest news in anime, hip-hop, and personal development as your friendly neighborhood Air Force Master Sergeant turned personal development enthusiast and anime aficionado. Coming to you live from the heart of Shreveport, Louisiana, last week we explored how structured mornings can transform your day. But this week, we're gonna tackle a beast in a different nature. In three ways, how do we stay relevant in a fast paced world? And what better way to explore this than through the lens of Ghost in a Shell, a series that marries humanity and technology in a cybernetic symphony of relevance. As we dive in this digital dojo, we'll be dissecting three key areas that Ghost in a Shell teaches us about staying ahead in a fast paced, evolving world. So buckle up because we're about to hack into the mainframe of continuous learning and adaptation, just like our cybernetic enhanced comrades in section nine, embracing technology with humanity, continuous learning and ethical consideration, and the psychological and societal impact. Transitioning from the futuristic streets of Ghost in the Shell to our main content, let's dive into what keeps us running in the rat race of relevance in embracing technology with humanity. Major Motoko Kusanaki, our protagonist, is not your average cybernetic cop. She's a blend of high tech and humanity, showing us that to stay relevant, we need to embrace technology, but not at the cost of losing what makes us human. Think of it like balancing your binge watching sessions with real life ninja training. It's all about harmony. The world of Ghost in the Shell is teeming with AI and cybercrime, painting a vivid picture of our potential future. It is a reminder that understanding and integrating technology into our lives isn't just cool, it's crucial. Imagine trying to solve a Rubik's Cube in the dark. That's us without technology in tomorrow's world. Adaptability is key. Just as Section 9 adapted to new threats with each episode, we too must be willing to pivot and learn new skills. It's like when you're trying to learn a new jitsu. You might not get it right the first time, but perseverance is key. Transitioning to our overview, let's decrypt what we uncovered so far. Balancing technology and humanity is like being a part-time ninja. It requires skill and balance. Understanding technology is our ticket to the future. Don't be left in the dark. And adaptability is the real superpower in the world that never stops changing. Transitioning from the digital battlegrounds to the strategies behind our survival in them, let's move to the next section in continuous learning and ethical consideration. The cybernetic world is vast and so is the knowledge within it. Continuous learning is not just a choice, it's a necessity. It's like leveling up in the game. You need to keep gaining experience points to face the next boss battle. Like Uncle Ben says, with great power comes great responsibility. And the ethical dilemmas faced by Kusanaki and her team echo the importance of considering the impact of our actions. It's the difference between being a hero or a villain in your own story. Collaboration with AI and humans in the series underscores the potential for harmonious coexistence and mutual growth. Think of it as forming your own ninja squad. Everyone brings something unique to the table. I bring a jutsu. You know, something like that. Transitioning to our overview, let's compile the data we gather with continuous learning. It's the cheat code for staying ahead of the game. Ethics are the moral compass that guides us through technological wilderness. And collaboration is the ultimate strategy for victory. Find your squad and thrive together. Transitioning from the ethical codes of cyber ninjas to the heart of staying relevant, let's explore our final content section in the psychological and societal impact. The introspective journey of Kusanaki explores the psychological impact of technology on identity and self. It's a deep dive into the soul, questioning what truly makes us human. A question or a quest, unlike looking for the perfect anime that resonates with your spirit. 
Ghost in the Shell doesn't just show us the future of technology, but it also its effects on society at large. It's a mirror reflecting the potential destiny, urging us to consider the path we're on. It's like choosing your adventure in a manga. Each decision leads us down a different path. The series champions the ideas of a global citizenship in a digital age reminding us of our interconnectedness and shared responsibility. It's like being part of a worldwide anime community. We're all connected by our love for anime and the lessons it teaches us. Transitioning into our overview, let's synthesize the essence of a digital deep dive, the search for identity amidst technology as a journey worth embarking on. Our societal trajectory is shaped by our technological choices. Choose wisely. And embracing our global interconnectedness enriches our understanding and responsibility towards each other. In this episode, we navigated the neon light networks of Ghost in the Shell, uncovering the secrets to staying relevant in a world that's constantly upgrading itself. We've seen that it's not just about keeping up with technology, but with integrating it within our humanity, continuously learning and evolving, and considering the broad impact of our digital footprint. We talked about embracing technology and humanity. It's like mastering the art of walking the tightrope between the digital and the real worlds. The path to relevance is paved with continuous learning, ethical consideration, and the power of collaboration and understanding the psychological and societal impacts of technology guides us in forging a future that's inclusive and mindful for a shared humanity. My challenge to you this week is reflect on your own journey through this digital world. How did you adapt and what new skills or understandings have you gained? Think of it as unlocking your own unique abilities or jitsu in the world of personal growth, like myself. Um, I think I did it right. <laughs> what anime character or series do you think best represents the journey of staying relevant in a fast paced world? Share your thoughts and let's connect the dots between our favorite stories and the lessons they hold. I need y'all to do something for me. If you got an anime that sheds light on personal development in a way that we haven't covered, click the change the anime topic link in the description. If you're ready to turn your daily chaos into a well-ordered campaign, join the wait list for the Peak Society, a private group on Facebook, WhatsApp, Discord, and LinkedIn, dedicated to your success and giving you the tools to support your dreams. And don't forget, every week, I'll be dropping a brand new episode of Zenio Cool. Hit the subscribe, like, and share to dive deep into the world of personal development meets anime. Thanks for tuning in, Zenyoku family. Until next time, keep exploring, learning, and sharing the journey. Let's take the world one episode at a time. Peace.